Yo, what is up, YouTube? I'm Xavier Elon. I go over hacker rank and leak code videos. If you guys haven't already seen my channel, this was actually one of the very, the actually it was the very first video I shot for my channel, um, and it has the most views. But it was very poorly shot, and you could barely see the code. So I'm redoing it. So if you guys haven't already, check out my channel, subscribe, and I'll get to the problem. Okay, so we have um, Java Rayless on hacker rank. Um, this problem is not testing us like. Leak code does like it's not a challenge. It's more of just like, do you know how to use the array list? Do you know the Java language and syntax? Um, there's no tricks to it, but the description is long. So we're just they want us to use the array list um, interface. So array list is basically a 2D array or an array full of lists. So they have a picture here. Um, so we just need to create that. They give us the numbers they want us to store in the array list, and then we they want us to retrieve print out the corresponding X and Y numbers or rows and columns. So this first number is saying there's five um, lists. And the next number, this number is saying there's five numbers in this list. So here's the five numbers. There's one number in this list. This is the one number and so on. There's four. And <clears throat> after all the lists, so this is the last list, this is Q for queries. So there's they're asking for five queries from us. So. Um, in each query, they have the X and the Y, or row and column. So it's saying, go to the first row and the third column and return that number. So first row, third row, 74, um, and exactly that. And if if they're out of bounds, we just return error. So that's going to be a try catch statement. So let's go ahead and code this out. Um, let's create our array list first. So. And we want to give it a size of 20,000. Where did I get that number from? I'm going to show you guys. Um, they give us constraints. Hacker rank usually does this. So there's no more than 20,000. So let's just give it a number of 20,000. And <clears throat> we need to um, create a scanner object. So scanner equals new scanner. And then we just pass it system.in. That's just how you create a scanner object to read input from the console um, and then we need to grab the first value so the first value is just how many lists we have so uh, int I'm just gonna call it list equals scanner dot next int and now we have our list so let's go ahead and we're gonna loop through all our lists I plus plus so um, the first thing we want to do is so we created our array list, but there's no lists inside of the array. It's just an empty array list. So we want to create empty um, lists inside of it. So we need to do that uh, just like this. And now we want to grab the next value, which is um, let's just call it a number. It's telling us how many numbers are in the list. So it's it's the five, the one, the four, zero, and three. Um, so scanner next int. and now we're going to loop through all the numbers and add them into uh, our array list so j less than number and so a l of i um, dot add and we're going to add uh, not j um, <clears throat> Oh, we need to grab the value first, actually. That's what I was doing wrong. So int value equals scanner.next int and ai.add value. Okay, so now our array list is fully populated, our 2D array list. We have this in it. Um, the only difference is it's zero index. I just prefer zero index because that's how code's usually written. And so up next, we have to grab Q or the queries. So query equals scanner.next int. And so now let's loop through all the queries. Int i equals 0, i less than queries. And inside the queries, we want to grab x and y. So let's store those in the corresponding variables. And int y equals scanner dot next int. And <clears throat> so now we just want to print this print the statements. We have everything stored. So we're gonna do a try statement. So system dot out dot print ln. 
Um, so what should we put here? Uh, we need to get the X row, X stands for row, but remember X is, their X is index based one, ours is zero. As you can see here, we put zero. So we need to do X minus one. And then we do get, and for Y, Y is, our Y is also zero indexed, so we do Y minus one. Um, you could have put one right here, and it would have been the, you wouldn't have to do the minus one, but that's, I just always prefer zero indexed arrays. And so catch exception E, and let's just print out that error message. All right, so hopefully this works. Um, could have ran into bugs. <clears throat> and I spelled next wrong. Cool, so it works. That's how this works. There's no checks to it. It's just, do you know how to read this in and use all these functions? It's good practice. Um, if you guys like this video, smash that like button. I'll see you in the next video. Mom, are the hot pockets ready?